Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I am going to be doing a first impressions in this Prasan bag. Okay, so in this Prasan bag, I do have the JG Hadid lipsticks. I only managed to scroll three plus one lip liner. I still haven't received my pin code, so I can't purchase anything over $100, which is frustrating. So I do have the um, red or the reddest lip liner that there is in this shade. I think it's Care or something like that, or Care. K H. A I R and the three lipsticks that I got is Mikhail, Lani and Erin. So Mikhail looks to be like a nude shade. Lani looks to be like a really uh, monotone or undertones muted uh, red and of course Erin looks like a dusty um blue. Oh the butterfly in my room. Well that is literally a first. I've never had a butterfly in my room. In my dad's study once um, when he was not in there um and I had to you know, hold the little guy by his or her feet um, and then take a picture of it because taking it, unless that butterfly just happens to land on you by chance it's a really really difficult to take a picture of a butterfly so I'm going to zoom you guys in this also did come to about $88 for me um, if I had a bought more what I was it would have come down to $199 or maybe probably like $119 something like that but it said no pin code therefore I can't per couldn't purchase what I wanted you guys can see this too. I'll hold the pelt sideways. So far, it has like a bit of a stiff feeling. And yeah, I would be surprised. I overdraw my lips. Okay, so unless the automatic you're putting a lot of pressure on, if you're using a light hand to begin with, you definitely have to um, put a lot more pressure just to get um, a nice solid opaque line. Now that I'm lined up. So it definitely reminds me a lot of um, Mary Jo K. Right, and I feel my lips in the rest of the way there. Pencil hasn't gone down too quickly with the color cosmetics ones, they go down really fast. So far, so good. It definitely reminds me a lot of Mary Jo K. So I will pull that out quickly. Not recording. So this is Mary Jo K. And yes, I lost the lid to it ages ago. Sorry, it's not even in frame. I'm doing really well. This is, of course, Care. It's just slightly darker. But other than that, they are precisely the same shade. I mean, it's a beautiful red shade, duh. So this one here was um, Mary Jo K and this one here was K. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Next to um, a JJ26, it says K next to it. I would love to show the actual wording, but my camera would have a hard ass time focusing on it. So now I'm going to place um, Lani on top of it. So I guess I really do like the um, packaging. Like Shannon was saying in her video, um, the packaging is quite similar to the KKW collection one, where it's um, very nude toned. Oh, that smells really nice. I mean, then again, Maybelline's lipsticks all have a really good scent to it. Okay, that is an absolute beautiful red shade. I will also test it out on my lips plainly, without the lip liner already being down. That's just made my teeth look so much whiter. They're not lying when I say that. I think my lashes coming up slowly. It's been a very hot, humid day, so I'm not surprised that my lashes are lifting up. They are also Exo Beauty, um, the Romantic. This was um, Carrot Lip Liner and. Lani? Yeah, Lani. My memory's getting better. This was also um, Lani lipstick. I'm gonna erase this off and then we'll go in with the lipstick alone. They're definitely super creamy. Maybe even relatively moussey. Okay, now that's on. Definitely very, very, very creamy um, going on to the lips. I definitely feel that um, with the lip liner underneath, it'll help make it last longer, especially when the lipstick starts to wear down. Um, it'll wear down to the lip liner and then you won't really notice the difference. I just managed to go a bit right in there. Thank you, piercing. I definitely really love the shade. It's just when it comes to lipsticks, um, the paranoia of having them wear off so easily um, throughout the day and transfer everywhere. That's the annoying thing about moussey or creamy lipsticks is that they are transferable. So they're not the best idea to make out with somebody with unless they're okay with having pampered lipstick on their face. Yeah, definitely have a lip liner on underneath from my uh, perspective of it. Yeah, unless, you're okay, unless your partner is okay with this, I definitely have a lip liner on and or wear a matte lipstick. Okay, the next shade in line is going to be this um, Morby um, Purple Tone in Erin. This one is a slight shade darker than uh, For Locally from Exo Beauty. So this is For Locally and this is um, an Erin. So Erin uh, is just like slightly a bit more 
uh, purple tone than what Blurkly is. And this is Erin, so it's definitely a lot darker. I'm very similar in shade. This one, of course, is just more purple tone there. Okay, so this lipstick is a sort of ridiculous cream that you can actually end up wobbling around. Now that I put it on, it's definitely reminded me a lot of Jeffree Star Sagittarius, I think it is. One of the two of his lavender silver shades. I'll drag that out and just show you what I mean. Okay, there is definitely a silver tone, something of it like it somewhere, but so far Sagittarius was the only one that I found. Erin's just slightly more brown tone, like I said, but compared to it next to um, Sagittarius, they're very, very similar. I was saying the only frustrating thing about these lipsticks is that, um, the formula wise is they're very, very creamy, unless you have a super steady hand. You can't have a slip inside everywhere like I did a few times. I'm in the habit of overdrawing my lip because I'm not too crazy happy about my current lip shade, uh, lip shade, lips um, size, especially the top lip. My bottom lip's fine, but my top lip, I, I could use a bit more of an enhancement. With these lipsticks, what I've discovered so far is that they're very creamy and generally hard to manage, so definitely put down a lip liner first and I'll set off for a liquid lip. So that one was in Erin. On the bottle, the bottom of it, it does look um, like a purpley brown shade. On the lips, it does end up looking like that, um, but it does look very similar to Sagittarius. This was once again in Erin. Okay, the last shade up for grabs is going to be Macal. Okay, so Macal is a nice nude tone. What a big surprise. Okay, the only time I would ever suggest and recommend using this lipstick is if you're going to use it in the centre as a highlight or I mean, it, doesn't, it makes it a pretty alright nude shade, but I have olive skin tone, so it's alright. It definitely reminds me of um, another comparison. <laughs> okay, so this is Arm um, New from Jeffree Star. So they are also, once again, very similar in shade. I mean, it shows up more proper nude tone on the skin, but on my lips, it kind of looks way more white creamy, like a very off oh, pink, but very, very creamy tone. Don't mind the art. <laughs> Irritation marks around my lips. Obviously, been wiping lipstick off using a sock, but um, yeah. Okay, now um, Sagittarius. What's up? The blob down there. Sagittarius and Erin are not dry, so Sagittarius is still a lot more purple tone, and this one has got like tiny flakes of purple in it, but it's still mostly brown. This one was once again in Macau, so a very, very nude tone. If um, you have naturally pouted lips, um, or you just want something that um. And it gives you a little bit of something on top that isn't like outstanding but you still want to have something nude or you want your highlight at a particular um, spot of your lipstick like just for a little bit of a spotlight effect on your lips and Mikhail is definitely really good for that. This was my first impressions on the Gigi Hadid lipsticks. Um, I really do like the uh, shades. Um, this nude shade Mikhail. Not quite a favourite of mine. I mean, it might work out really well for like a centre of the lip highlight or something like that. Or if you're a slightly different skin tone, I think for a slightly paler people, this nude shade might work out quite well. Or when it's even darker, um, naturally tanned or off colour, um, it might give them whiter lips practically. These two, uh, Lani and Erin, as well as the lip liner in Care, are definitely my favourites. Yeah, this was my first impressions on these three shades plus the um, lip liner. So thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this long ass video and I shall see you all for my future ones. Ciao!